Our goal is to get him to become very comfortable around us and to be very used to us. So right now, he recognizes the voices of the keepers. So the most important thing we can do for these animals is make sure they know that when we call, we are the safe place to come to. So they'll come to us when they hear our voice, and you can see he's already responding to the keepers who spend every day with him. He's getting more and more active, actually, in the last maybe week. We've noticed he's gotten more active, and he'll get up, and like he was earlier, he'll get up and start walking around and playing. But a lot of times, uh, when we get in in the mornings, he's just kind of going to sleep. So he'll fall asleep somewhere and we have to sort of relocate him uh, while his mom's outside so we can clean all the enclosures. And then um, he'll just sort of, he'll sleep most of the day, but he'll get up every once in a while and start trying to climb around. Right. I'm going to try and see if he's got any teeth. Are you going to let me do it? No! We look for the same milestones that any parent would look for, making sure that he, his, his, when his eyes open, his teeth come in, his vocalizations, his movement, he's essentially at the crawling phase right now where he's starting to be really mobile, working his way around his enclosure. He was so small and helpless not that long ago, and he has grown so fast. One of the first things we said about him was he had such a round little belly, and so we watch him, and he's still, he's still, he's a big boy. The Panda Cam has been popular for a long time, especially in these past four years. And we have an international audience. We have people who send us emails to tell us how much they, you know, how much they treasure their time being able to watch these pandas grow. So it's great. The, there are these incredible scientists in China who have a lot of experience. They have hundreds of pandas there. And so we have been working together for decades ever since um, Xing Xing and Ling Ling came here. Um, and it's an incredible opportunity to share information across countries. We talk about panda di diplomacy and to see it in action. And they were so lovely and my, my favorite part was when the First Lady of China said that this was the first time she had been this close to a panda cub. So the fact that she had that opportunity here at the National Zoo was just really touching. We, have, we expect pandas will be back in China when they're about four years old. That's a good age for them to leave here and go there and get ready to be part of the breeding program. And so um, I'm, we're just we're starting to prepare him for that life from the moment he's born. A picture really does tell a thousand words. I think anything this beautiful and this precious, people see giant pandas, they see giant panda cubs, and they want to conserve them. They know it's important because they don't they don't want a life without these. They don't want a planet without these animals on them.